What is happening, Internet? Welcome back to K-Wing's Let's Plays and the continuation of Forza Horizon 5. And tonight, uh, we're just kind of vibing and uh, doing whatever I feel like. Uh, probably going to do more of the off-road challenges and uh, maybe buy some cars. I think we're close to 2 million in terms of, like, you know, money we've earned. Uh, but last night, we struggled quite a bit with the uh, Bronco challenges. I only got second place, mostly. Which was rough. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That was. I was a little annoyed by that. But hey, how's it going? Uh, I might end up uh, tuning up my Bronco, since it's a recommended thing to take in races. So uh, I still don't have any points towards this autumn season pass thing. Ah, it's so frustrating. Uh, no, no, no. This is stuff I have to do in the game. I have to uh, do certain points, season progress points, in order to get these free cars. Like, basically, like, how there's mobile challenges. You have to do a ton of stuff to get a free car. Coming soon. Yeah, okay. Welcome back, Night. Yeah, that's me. Uh, barn finds. Wait, there was a new bar find? When? When, 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 when? Ooh! Since When? 198 when did I find this? Here it is. I can't believe we found an oh F40. Keys are in the ignition. Enjoy. What what what? Where did I find that and when? That is beautiful. 1989. You know what that looks like? That looks like uh, Magnum PI's car. That's nice. We can't afford something like that. How much does that cost? More than we make. <laughs> How much does it cost? Too much. Beautiful. How much is this cost? Uh, I'm going to say how much that car is. Probably like uh, 250000 Maybe more. I don't if you got a junker to put together, um, probably could do it for like 75000 maybe. Maybe maybe fifty five if you knew somebody. Sweet. I didn't know I had any more barn finds. I haven't had any of those in a while. Barn finds. Man, I wish you could put the, that on the thumbnail. Uh, I am going to put that on tomorrow's thumbnail. That is gorgeous. I, I love that. that I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, Forza is dropping like a stone. Uh, not many people are playing this game anymore on YouTube. Some people on Twitch. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Oh wait, I had a Ferrari. I have other barn find not discovered yet. So um, this car is actually being worked on too—a 1962 Ferrari. <clears throat> All right, Luke. If you had two, Argon, I have a question. If Where's... somebody was gonna offer you, yeah, that car or the Batmobile, which one would you choose? Since People can create like a Batmobile for about two hundred ninety-eight thousand. It, it's a it's an offer. Like I get to choose. You get to choose. Like somebody who has two, they're like, I I have one car to give you, and it's th that car that you just showed, or the Batmobile. Eighty-nine Batmobile. You would get the Batmobile, even though you can hardly drive it around very much. Yeah. If yeah, it if, if it's my choice. Yeah, it's your choice. Yes. You can choose. 89 Batmobile, but it's street legal. So that means it it can it has a good engine in there. And if I it needs to get up to 100 miles an hour or more, it has a it, it if it's a movie prop then it will only be able to go up to like 40 miles an hour. So I'd want I'd want a real engine in there. Um cuz I I'd want that car to fly if I needed to. Mm, Tim says, I think you got a call at the end of the last stream telling you the car was ready. Ah, okay. Mm. That's dope. That's dope. All right. Mm. Well, we're going to, um, why don't we tune up our Ford Bronco? It's been a while. Um, because hey, we're going to see you guys. We're going to take this guy into some races. Hi, Trayvon. Hey, Thomas Vu. How's it going? Hey, Akhmad. Brandon says, do you think people are going to be not happy because the multiverse is skipping on Switch? Yeah. Yeah. There'll be some people that are sore about it. Hello, Jack Reacher. Hi, Tim. Hi, Sammy Bear. Hi, Iron. 250 for the car. 250k for for the car? Question mark. Probably. Probably. I don't know. You'd have to look up a 1989 I mean, Ferrari. 
I think it was a Ferrari. I don't, I don't remember. That car is so good looking. I would, I would drive that car. I think that car is, like, well, I mean, if I had the money, obviously. Mm -hmm. That, I would love something like that. So we're it's not too speed. ostentatious. No, no, okay, no, it kind no, of no, is. No, no. What, 19? Why is this, nobody gives this car any handling? Why do you give this car no handling? Nobody has good tuning for this car at all. There you go. Around 200000 There it is. Aha. Uh -huh. I was close. 1989 Ferrari. Yeah. $200,000. Yep. I was close. And there it is. Mm -hmm. In real life. Look at it. Wow. Luke. Yep. Yep. Now I have to get that car in real life. I'm just going to work every day. Any job I can. Hmm. Just to get that car. Mm. I don't even need a house. I'll just live homeless in that. <laughs> it's so awesome. Live homeless in that car. All right. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that. The size. Bronco. A. Uh, S91. 8, 3, 7. 9, Was 9. this car ever in any movies or anything? Or I'm pretty sure that's Magnum P.I.'s car. I think. Hmm. Performance class, popularity. That is one. a nice car. And it doesn't look like too over the top, like, you know, like, it just, it looks like it has, like, I don't know, it just looks cool. It just looks really cool. Yeah, it like, cool. the car would go perfectly with your leather jacket from high school. I guess. Well, it would. 100,000? I guess. Okay, Jonathan Dunaway. Sounds good. Have fun eating dinner. Oh. All right, so paid for that. Okay. Yeah, it's a 1989 Ferrari. Mm -hmm. All right, that's official. That's official. All right, I'm gonna write that down for my goals. Putting that on my, my as they say, you know, you have like a board of like goals that you want. Mm. Luke, stop taunting me with this car. I have to go to sleep now. No, I'm going to drive it for a little bit. I'm driving it. Nice. Oops, not bad. Nice. That's a nice car. Nice. That's pretty cool. Let's see what its top speed is before I mess around with it. Turn around when it is safe to oh do my so. Gosh. Never mind. It'd be so cool, like, Whoops. if you really got into car driving and stuff like that, like, um, well, I don't know, you probably don't know, but I don't know if, if the Germany is the only place that's like this, but on the Autobahn, um, highway in Germany, there's no speed limit. Turn around. You can go 300 miles an hour. So. They have, like, a fast lane, so people going, like, hundreds of miles an hour can go in the fast lane. And then people going like 60 miles an hour, like, just stay in the lane right now. Yeah. But if you want to go, like, you can go over 200,000 miles an hour if you want to in the lane. Turn around. Okay, I'm just when seeing it's something. safe to do so. Recalculating. 180. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I think I can go 200. 200 and. Oh, I can't stop now. <laughs> Ah! See, the problem is like, when I get like a, if I ever had a car like this or something, <laughs> it's like, my car, it's like, if somebody hits the back of my car, I feel very angry for a minute. Literally, if someone would smash this car, or if I would hit it Turn myself, I would probably go into rage mode, or I would start crying, I would start busting out crying. Turn left. Would cry. I would be like, my car! <laughs> Turn around when it is safe to do so. <laughs> I, it would be like something you could not, you could not damage. But it's like these car. I don't understand how these people do this. These like celebrities and stuff. They get these hugely. Well, I'm playing on the controller, so that means I'm gonna crash more. They get these hugely expensive cars, and then they drive them extremely fast, and then Turn they crash them. It's like how can they do this? So. I guess they have insurance, but it's like, wow. But really, you can't really get insurance for, like, you can't really, even if you took it to the the, the car shop to get the dents fixed, 
would never be new with that. Like, you could always kind of tell it was a little busted. Like, if you got it right, yeah, like that won't really rub out. Whoopsies. <gasps> My bad. <laughs> Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh well. I was just messing around. I think I messed too much, though. Okay. Uh, Who's gonna wake up later if they see Dr Amber driving this car? Yeah, definitely, Jack. Maybe I will get up in the morning, the like, roundabout. you know, Take like later on today. Exit. Luke will be like, oh, did you get the trash taken out? And. Get the laundry done today? I'll be like, huh? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I was driving this car. I, I didn't get anything. Done. It's like the cat's clawing at my door, Amber. She hasn't been fed all day. Huh? What? Sorry, I was, I was driving the car. I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm busy. I'm driving my car! Well, I mean, you have access to the game. You can, you can play it anytime. So, how. Hmm? This is on. This is on. Oh, yeah. This Xbox. Time. Yeah, this is Forza. Oh, we got stuck. Oops. <laughs> hey, Baba. Hello. What's up? Hey, Mage Wolf. Hey, Bart. Hey, um, everyone. We got stuck. There we go. So, I'm curious. How many people right now on YouTube Gaming are streaming this game? Like, let me know, guys. Um, I've heard someone tell me that this game is now in the double digits. Like, in terms for live streams. There are a few streamers that have, like, you know, a couple hundred people watching, but... Like, this game dropped off real fast. Which is a shame. I really like this game. I wish I wish my... See, this is the thing I, I don't like. If my notifications on this YouTube channel worked, like, I could really be helping out with a lot of different games that I stream. Because whatever, whatever I stream, my audience would be able to see and know. But, you know, it doesn't work that way. I was, even, I was complaining to YouTube today. Although, he was happy. He was like, well, he says, since you were kind of sleeping in, uh, you know, I only have 30 minutes that we can talk, so... Why don't we do a speed round? And so he basically went off like a series of questions and he says, So what are you, uh, how are you feeling about this? I said, okay. He says, okay, answer it in like uh, two minutes or less. And <laughs> I went through like um, so many topics in a half hour, which was awesome. I, I feel like that was the most productive YouTube call I've had in like a while. I kind of like the, the half hour meetings. I don't like the hour meetings because um, I felt like we got more done and things like that. But yeah, I mean... I just feel like uh, if my channel worked properly, I could actually keep games alive longer and, you know, yeah, all I, kinds yeah, of stuff. I, when I checked on you, I heard you say, yards. Ten about how you only can get 1% of Half of 1%. Yards. Ten right. Yeah, they have no solutions for that. You said, how's your newsletter doing? I said, uh, we almost have 800 people. So, uh, out of the 800 people, 500 people are opening the email. I just, you know, everyone's always asking me, like, what car could you have if you could have anything? Like, as soon as this car showed up in your life. This car? Yeah. This broken car? I like it. You like, you like the car looking like this? No, I, I take it looking like this. You take it looking like this? Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could always fix it. I don't even need it fixed. Ha 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 I think it looks cool now. Oh no! Now it's a little bit all the points are gone. All the points are gone. It's like you can see all the engines on the back. Yeah, this is because this is a uh, this was a you know pretty slick car. All right, so what was I what was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? Where are we going? No, I don't want to go there. Oh, I know what we were doing today. We were Tim, doing the movie studio. Tim says that the Ferrari two fifty Tesla. Testa Rosa has a Mach 5 skin. Mm. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Hey, Princess Emmy, how's it going? Hey, OHX90. Um, hey, Iron. Hey, um, Tim. Drummond. Hey, Jack Robbins. Sammy Bear. Hey, guys. Hey, Mage Wolf. Oh, well, Mage Wolf says, I missed the Pokemon stream because I was at <coughs> GameStop to get a copy of the game. Oh, you used to watch oh. us when you were younger? That's cool. Thanks, uh, Baba. Oh, awesome, yeah. Baba. 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 Yep, thank you for watching us when you were younger. Awesome. Lurking for a bit and playing Pokemon, says Chad. Oh, yeah. Nice. No so it sounds like a lot of you guys are playing Pokemon today. I mean, that makes sense. It came out at midnight, so. 
Trayvon says, where is everyone? Well, that's what we ask every day, Trayvon. People, I mean, we, we have people who show up in droves sometimes and then they just stop I did, I got a, I got a two minute lecture tonight, or today, um, about like, he was like, well, he says, you know, even though you only have like half a percent of your notifications going out, we only notify your subscribers of three of the six videos you released today. Right, but, still have to keep but I said, but if that was really true that you actually notified our subscribers of the three videos, I said, I'll play Devil's Advocate. You know, I would just be happy with, why don't you choose one video to, to and actually, instead of it just being one or half of one percent, why not do five percent for one video, and then we won't have those view issues anymore, because that one video will get five or six thousand views, guaranteed. No problem. Instead, you know, they're only doing like half a percent, and they're shuffling between three random videos. You don't even know what three videos they're going to recommend. It could be anything. Uh, it could be the Pokemon video. It could be a YouTube short. Yeah, yeah. You never know. <coughs> it's crazy how I ran into the channel again. I miss y'all. Well, well, thank you, Baba. Welcome back, and Baba. And don't forget, if you guys haven't seen us for a while, check out our newsletter. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would strongly recommend joining the newsletter. It's free. Kwingsletsplays.com. You get notified of at least four uh, videos that we're doing, as well as it has access to playlists. It goes right to your email. Uh, it has some cool graphics to it, and it's kind of fun. So 223 is the max this car can do without upgrades. Okay, never mind. Two, 224, two, two, yeah, 225 is about the max this car does uh, for right now. Um, I am going to upgrade this thing. Cause it's pretty cool. Woohoo! Oh, I damaged your car. No, I didn't. It's still wow. Oh yeah, nope, nope. I took out a headlight. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna get pulled over. Uh, sir, there's a problem with your your headlight. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, when did that happen? Uh, that'll buff right out. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I do remember when uh, Forza people were stopping by the channel. They were like, "Why do you keep going off road?" It's like, "Why not? It's an open world game." Uh, if I did this in Need for Speed, I'd be penalized. Um, I have to usually stick to the road, so I love that this is an open-ended game. I can do whatever I want. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> uh, that dude's doing a... Um... Alright. So... Oh, wow, you're near some ancient ruins. Yeah, we're near Mayan, or I don't know where we are. I lose track. It's hard to know, I think. Yeah. We used to know more about which... So what's the name of the car that we're driving? Ferrari? 1989, 1989 Ferrari. Ferrari. All right. So we were just joyriding in a 89. All right. Tim says, I missed half of the stream because I was at GameStop buying Metroid Dread. No worries. Awesome, Tim. Mm. Uh, what was this called? 1989. Oh, okay. Iron. Says I was busy with stuff. No worries, guys. How do you spell Ferrari? F E R R A R I, I believe. Let me just look it up. That's close enough. And this is uh, 18 minutes 42. F E R R A R I. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I can't spell that. How do you even say that? It's a. Uh, Here you go. F E R R A R I. No, not Ferrari. That's not what I was oh. saying. I, I didn't know how to spell this phrase. It's H E R E N C I A cross country. Wow, some Ferraris are actually six hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. Oh yeah. That was an eighty nine one, that's why it's two hundred thousand. Yeah, look at this one. This is six hundred and twenty eight thousand dollars for this one from two thousand and twenty. My gosh. Wow, look at this neon green one. It's five hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. Wow. I don't think I would pay for a neon green one though. No. If I had to get a furry, it'd be red. Yeah. If you guys are trying to help get viewers here, all you have to do is like and share the video if you got like Twitter or whatever. Uh liking and sharing helps. Alright, so it we're gonna It does help. Every yeah. time every time you guys share like in an email or on your Twitter or anything, it does help more and more people see the video. Man, I just upgraded this my Ford Bronco and I'm still not really catching up to people at all. Like, 
I think I'm gonna have to retire the Bronco and get like another off-road car. Cause this one is done. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on my goals. You <laughs> put that on. Yeah. Forget. I don't want to go. I don't want to go back to college anymore. I'm just saving up for that college. <laughs> People will be like, didn't you want to go to Japan and finish music? I did go to Japan. I brought my Ferrari with me. It's them. like, no. Oops. Actually, I decided I just want this car. It's like... I don't know. I'll just... I'll just go oh! I won't even go anywhere fancy in that car. I'll go to Sonic's and get like a dollar hot dog. The car. I'll be like, I'll be like, wow, you're, you, you have the Ferrari, but you're going to Sonic's? It's like... Yeah, I spent all my money on the car. I don't have any more money left. Like, it's been I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I hear. And never mind, the Bronco still has, has... I mean, especially after I... I did upgrade it. So it cost me 150000 to upgrade the Bronco. But it seems to be handling a little bit better. Is oh, that a, whoops. Oh, that's not a... No, no, my Jeep is upgraded too, but my, my Grand Cherokee doesn't do as much as this. I almost got another Jeep a long time ago that was like bare bones Jeep, uh -oh. like, you know, no, you know what I mean, the, the basically Oops. not any padding on the side or anything, it's just that regular Jeep that's like, almost like a military type, but I don't know. Yeah. I didn't get it because we didn't have any money for it, so. Also, I went to school instead for cooking. There we go. Extreme races. There we go. <sighs> no, I'm going to have to go further back. I messed up big time. I thought the turn actually coming up was different. I thought it was going that way. It's hard for me to read the blue arrow sometimes. I wonder if that Ferrari comes in black. Probably. I like it in red though because it reminds me of Magnum PI. Blue. What? If we became that rich. I if if we became that rich after I paid off all our debts, I would get you that car. No, we would share it because we both like it. I'm more of a Jeep guy. I don't like being in vehicles that can crumple like a tin can if they get smacked. I prefer being off the ground in a big Jeep. I mean... Or a if, Hummer. If you had to go, though, that would be the best way to go. No, it, it wouldn't. <laughs> I've, I've survived a car accident. It's not okay. pleasant. Yeah, I know. I, I prefer to be up high, oh. looking down, and if my tire ends up, you know, crumpling a smaller vehicle that runs into me, I mean, oops. I don't, I never, my, I, my car accident wouldn't have been, I was even told, like, the reason why I became a Jeep driver anyway is because the doctors told me that if I was in a vehicle like a Jeep or an SUV, they literally said you Jeep, though. Fine. They said if I was in a Jeep or a truck, like, the accident wouldn't have been as bad. Like, be, but my car, I had a nice, um, I had a Toyota, and it crumpled like a sardine when it got T-boned. You know, so... I, as much, I have nothing against people that drive, like, you know, tiny cars, but I can't. I, I feel safer in big Jeeps now. And we've never had as bad of a car accident inside of a big Jeep anymore. Like, the only way that it would be as bad an accident is when I was, like, in my 20s would be if we hit a semi in the Jeep. That'd be comparable, but, you know, it's not going to happen, so. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Bronco. Did that count? Nope. Am I still in first? No way. Wow. I totally messed up, too, and I'm still in first. Cool. So the handling on this has been improved a lot by my updates. Like, this thing was sliding all over the road last night. It's doing much better now. I like that. Well, Booyah! You're very practical, I'm sorry. I haven't been in a car it's okay. Score. <clears throat> Happy camper, my. Time to get some tires dirty. K Wing's going off road. That's right, said why. You know it. Mm hmm. Uh, is this right? They gave me the latest cross country results, but it's just your name printed over and over down the page. Turn around 
when it is safe to do so. Yeah, I won again, yo. That's why. Ford Bronco helped out tremendously. All right, so there are some more off-road uh, races that we can do. Um, I'm seeing a hand. Oh, wow. Actually, no, there's way more than a handful. That's awesome. Although I've noticed that if you don't come in first place, then they don't check it off like you did it. And then you don't really complete the Baja off-road stuff. Ba Baja. What country? What city are you in? Mexico. With the ruins, though. What um, city are you in? Because uh, apparently they have ruins of Aztecs, Mayans, and Inca all over Mexico. Uh, Actually, Inca is mostly in South America. I, I can't tell you where it so, was. It see. would be Aztec and Maya. Yeah. There were Aztec and Maya. I think you were here. This looks like where you just were. Yeah, that's it. These are Aztec ruins. Mm hmm The Mayan ruins look different. Yeah, so this place is called... You can see it right there, Amber. That's the name of it. Let's see. It looks like T-E-O... Wait, wait. T-E-O... T-E-O... Okay. Yeah. Let me look that up. This is all based on real world locations, so in Mexico. The Forza series is based on real stuff. Well, can you say it can you go buy it again? Go buy it again? Right there. T O T I H U A C. Okay. Better? That's, yep. Okay. Alright. Uh I need to go. Where was my new race at? Here we go. Go here. Yep, these are Aztecs. Mm-hmm. Where we're bringing the Ferrari again. Because it helps me get there faster. Oh my gosh, when did I get this? That is nice, too. I don't remember getting that 1968 thing. When did I get that? Oh, this is a really famous spot in Mexico. Mm-hmm. It's an F40. That's what that is. That's a beautiful car. Oh, wow. Interesting. So these ruins um, are estimated by archaeologists. It was estimated to be the sixth largest city in the world at its time, which would have been about 500 AD. Interesting. Which is debatable. I don't think that the end. I don't. No. I've already heard about this. I don't believe that the Aztecs actually were Turn around, around 500 years. When it is safe to do so. I think it was thousands of years ago. They say it was 500 years ago. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, they've even been in interviewed, like the Aztecs and the Incas, like the, the people that, like, the natives there, and they've even said those ruins were there before their people came there. Those were made way before. Like those are like thousands of years old. Yeah. I just don't believe the what people say about that. That's okay. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'm just I'm going to my race. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean. <laughs> Still pretty cool to think about though. You said that. Um, if you do too many fun packs, then you'll fall asleep because right, it's fine. late at night. You know, this is just like those times where you read the fun facts when I was behind the wheel and we were driving at night. It was very dangerous. Very dangerous. Like here I can crash in the game, but I still, I usually stream for about two hours before at night, so. It's called the Pyramid of the Moon. Turn mm. around. Okay. It is safe to do so. Thanks for that. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 I survived. Never mind. <laughs> uh. I really need to change the thumbnail because we have the Ferrari. Mm. I I just got like a random off-road vehicle. But this works. So. I mean, I save a lot more time. I'm <laughs> switching to a faster car because then I can get to the destination and do a lot of the off-road races and things like that. <gasps> oh. Very tired right now, Sud. Sorry to hear that. Man. Um, we're doing good, Ice to Me. How are you, you doing today? To your destination. I like this car, says Ice to Me. I know, Yeah, right? it was nice. Amber Lore says Iron. Definitely Iron. 
Mm. Right, so this at 30 minutes, 14, I say 20. This is uh, S, S, J. Call this stream a lovely day, says said. Burp. What a lovely day. Hmm. It just sounds like a good name. I named it. I could call this stream. Oh, sorry. My part nine, my off road extreme races, because that's what I'm mostly doing. I'm I'm doing the rest of the Baja races. That's my plan. And then tomorrow I'm doing the movie theater stuff. Movie theater stunts is the next part of the story. So you do all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is going to be in rain. Uh oh. This might be. This might be kind of rough. Yep, this is gonna be tough. So I have to do this in rain, riding the uh, Ford Bronco. If things get, get too rough, I'm gonna switch to the uh, other sport vehicle oh, I have. Ford? This oh. is a Ford Bronco. Ford makes a cool kind of Jeep. But... Ford is more expensive than Jeep. Mm, no, really? Ford's cheaper. Really? How come? Oh, because Jeep is so well built. That's why. I'm Jeep is well built, and Jeep has a better crash rating than. Some other things. Well, that's why you want to it's really yeah, I never wanted to be in the situation I was in again. So that's why I get Jeep. Awesome, Kitsune says I got my Jirachi uh, and Mew on Pokemon. Awesome. How are we supposed to get the Mew, guys? Like, why is that? Why was that not working for us? They said we needed to have the save file of Pokemon. But we had the. Pikachu, oh, maybe Pikachu, maybe we didn't have the save file save file on that one account. Maybe it was. Well, I mean, uh, that's an easy fix. Can I just like install well, in yeah words install it and then um, gain access to? No, I'm not doing yeah. very well with this race at all. Mm. Mad Max Forza came in. Mm, kind of, sort of. Yeah, good job getting those Kitsune. Kitsune definitely beat me. Really botched this well, so bad. I guess. I can go almost all the way back and fix my mistake. That's hilarious. That's as far back as they'll let me go, though. Six out of twelve. Okay, there we go. That's bad mistake. What? Maha! Yeah! I'll take it. That's a little bit better. I know a really weird fun fact about the Aztecs, but... I don't, I don't want to fall asleep. I'm sorry, but my, my wife has a very pleasant voice, but when she gets into her fun facts, it's like my mind just kind of goes, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's why you don't want me to talk to you about, like, I you don't know, know. You know you're not allowed to talk about certain topics when we drive, when we used to drive really late at well, night, because I almost when, fell asleep at the wheel. When I went down to see my parents, I was listening to, like, either a book on tape or a documentary on my phone. Mm -hmm. that I downloaded, and by the time I almost got there, it was like almost falling asleep, even though it was like 2 in the afternoon. Oh my god. Well, because like, I thought like, I'll learn stuff while I'm driving, and then like as I'm getting in traffic, I'm just like nodding off, because mm -hmm. like, it's like I was learning too much. At first I was just like, yeah, information, like this is interesting. And then after a while, I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't change the channel, I can't change my phone. I'm in traffic. I can't stop it. I can't stop the documentary. I can't switch on music. And it's still going. A lot of times when I'm driving and I can, I can hear like all the traffic outside and my engine and the air conditioner and everything. Oh. No, 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 no. It's not you. And like I can't really like hear my phone very well because the phone is like... Mm -hmm. You know how our radio is broken, so the only thing I have is my phone while yeah. you know, I'm driving? I can't really hear my phone very well. I usually, like, tuck my phone into my shirt like this, and I listen to it coming out of my shoulder when I'm driving, so I can actually hear it. That's, not so That's actually how I talk to people on the phone, too. Like, if they call me, I'll just tuck it in like this. Like, it's a... Like, the person on the phone is like, um... Look, it's like they're a lapel mic. Mm. And then I can talk to them. I just tuck it in the shoulder of my shirt, like up on my shoulder like that. And then they can hear me. It's really weird. I really hope we get our radio fixed soon. It's super annoying. 
I mean, they're kind of, the mechanics aren't very good at fixing the radio in our car. Oh shoot, I screwed up again. I like fun facts, but they do put me to sleep, so it's nice to meet you. I mean, it depends, <laughs> it depends what, you know, what you're racing. Oh wow, you went to a preview of Ghostbusters Afterlife, Orion? Wow. Nice. Alright, you have to have a good night too, Orion. Awesome. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a good night. I just came back from a preview of that. There we go. Movie. Wow, lucky. That's awesome. That's another first place finish. That was actually a kind of a rough course with all the rain and stuff. So the upgrades worked. Basically, I tricked out my handling. Um, I made the vehicle a little heavier. And, uh, yeah. Why? I never understand why these guys are showboating when they didn't come in first place. To me, it doesn't make any sense. Like, they're, they're really getting into it. And they're not in first place. I don't know. Some, uh, yeah, I don't... Some people are like that. They always think they're winning even though they're Oh! Winning. We got a truck! Oh, nice. Is, uh, Sed... Sedwai? Uh, is... Sedwai is here. Is, it's, um... Oh, E2S2. E2 S2. Yeah, if E2S2's there, I'll drive a Mercedes truck for a while. I don't see E2S2 here. I know he likes trucks. E2S2... He's a, he's a big truck person. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna switch to a truck. Uh, f just for E2S2. He's not e I don't see him here today, but maybe if he comes in... I later. thought I saw him for a little bit. E2S2, are you here? E2S2 fanatic. I saw a Great truck. to see you. Um, hey, Princess Emmy. Hi, Ice to meet you. Hello, Iron and Orion and Big Nate, Tim and, um... Said why? Great to see you. Um, 9A... Said why from Shanghai is there. I know 44. that. 44... And May 12th is here. Truck hype. Great to see you, Tim Drummond and Jack Reacher Reviews. And Chad is here, Baba and Jack Robbins. How many truck fans do we have in the uh, chat tonight? Hey, Sammy Bear and hello, um, OHX90. Hi, Bart and everyone. There go. How many of you guys are truck fans? How many guys are truck owners? Well, that's actually, that's a really nice truck. Mm. That's kind of cool. It's a sleek truck. It is. It's a sleek truck. All right, so it we're going to go to our like next destination. It feels like all the cars have eyes, and that, that truck looks like it has supermodel eyes. Sentient truck. It's doing this blue steel thing. Yeah. It's making a blue steel face. Turn around when it is safe <laughs> it actually does look like it's gray steel. Truck fan right here, says Jack Reacher. Truck fan. Awesome. Very cool. Alright, Luke. It's way past my bedtime. I know. You gotta take your BP and go to bed. Thanks for hanging out, though. It was nice. Mm. Alright, I don't know what this truck's max speed is. In 400 yards, turn sharp right. Okay, Wings, if you could add your favorite car in Forza 5, which one would it be? Mine would be the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. My favorite car? Awesome. 89 Batmobile. <laughs> awesome said. Mach 5 from Speed Racer sounds uh. awesome. Luke would add the 89 Batmobile set. Or the uh, Back to the Future DeLorean would be cool. Mm. I think I would I would add that 1989 Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, we were driving around in the 1989 supercar for a while. Now we're in a, uh, people want to see a truck, we're in a truck. Nice truck. Whoops. Well, would the Ferrari really crumble if it got hit head on? Maybe not a 1980s one because it was made of, you know, better. It's, yeah, it's not made of aluminum. It was made of stronger stuff. Why do they now make things unsafe more Cheaper. unsafe? Cheaper. Well, why would they make it less safe now than they did? Before? Why do they make cars less safe? It's cheaper. Yeah, but it seems. Yeah, I know. Seems like they should be making it more safe since we're supposed <sighs> to be. Oh. Or or I don't know. Hey, I can't. I don't. Jack. I don't work in a car factory, so I can't tell you why they they make cheaper car parts now yards. than when we were kids. Right. I am a truck fan, says Big Nate. Awesome. Nice, Big, Big Nate. Nate. All right, so we're doing some truck hype then. Hey, Jack Robbins, how's it going? Great to see you. 
Will you do all the Lego Marvel superheroes and unlock all of them? We're gonna try. We'll try our best. Lego Marvel superheroes wasn't out tonight. Well, we didn't do a stream of it because we wanted to get three episodes of uh, Pokemon out of the way, which I think we did. We did we did pretty good with the Pokemon thing today. Uh, that was fun. And then tomorrow will be we're gonna kick things off. Uh, the first stream that you'll see me on will be the um, Lego Marvel thing. I'll be I'll be on that stream. And then um, after that is two Pokemon, and then I'll be streaming something else. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to be streaming after that. It depends. Uh, and then Saturday is supposed to be my GameCube showcase for the day the GameCube came out. I think. I have to check and see. I don't remember the day, what day the GameCube came out. Okay, so this is the Urban Cross Country Horizon Circuit. Uh, so we're going to go back to our Ford Bronco. Mm. Or recommended. Um, oh no, your cat is... Your cat Link is biting you and purring. Oh wow, Orion. That's weird. Um, I don't know what my superpower would be, Jack. Um, that's a good question. I feel like most of my problems wouldn't be solved with superpowers. Um. Urban, urban cross country. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but I feel like being able to disappear would be a great superpower. Just like when I felt, whenever I felt really uncomfortable in a situation, someone was being really mean to me, or I didn't know how to deal with something, I would just disappear. Mm. And then they'd be like, where did she go? Just freak, freak people out. Mm. I don't know, I'd be the invisible man, or woman, I guess. I don't know why, I think being able to disappear would be pretty cool. Just at, at will. I Not disappear all the time, but just when I wanted to. Oh my gosh, that's, uh, that's gonna be a tough one. I got N64 and Sega Mega Drive. Oh, for the uh, the Switch stuff? Awesome. Mm. I had a lot of fun with the uh, both the N64 and the Switch. Oh, actually, you know what? I had more fun with the Sega Genesis. So it played better. Not not to be that guy, but I the emulation for the Genesis is better than the N64. Brazen says... Okay, what, um, every, some people are saying their well, superpower they would have. Mm. Alright guys, if you guys could have any superpower, ladies and gentlemen in the chat, if you guys could have any superpower, what would your power be? If it could be anything. I know mine would be to take out all the annoying people in my life out, says Brazen. Oh wow. I mean, I wish I could do that too, but I feel like... I don't know. The other power I wish I could have is mind control, but I feel like both of my powers disappear. Yikes! <laughs> disappear in mind control. I feel like these are things a super villain would crave, so yeah. it's, it's probably not good that I have superpowers. Reminds me of that. I should probably wish for something like flying or helping people. Flying or helping people. Yeah, what were you going to say? It was like those cl clips of Kim Possibly we watched where Kim, uh, Ron became evil and he was so good at it. Booya ha 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 ha! Booya ha ha ha! Is his laugh was. Yeah. He was actually he was a more dangerous villain than Draken ever was. That's terrifying. Well, I mean, he's been kicked around his whole life, so I mean, if you get kicked around enough, then if you got powers after that, you could be pretty dangerous. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I I teared up as a grown man when Ron basically became Goku at the end of Kim Possible. When he when he stepped up monkey style, I was like. Oh my gosh, it's happening. They're doing this. Aww. They're 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 not abandoning the whole like Ron is the chosen one of monkey style kung fu or whatever. And he literally becomes Neo slash Goku at the end of the series. I'm like, what? I remember when that happened, I was so blown away. I'm so mad that Disney never did a continuation with that show as Ron is a superhero. They should have done a spin off show so long ago. Hmm. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Missed opportunity. I thought they were going to start another season with Ron as yeah. the superpower. Well, when I heard Kim Possible was coming back, I didn't realize it was a 20, 2019 live action movie. I mm -hmm. thought they were going to do like a movie about Ron and Kim, like maybe getting married or doing like the uh, Ron the superhero. But nope. I would have a power to bring peace and joy to the world. I love to fly and I would have the ability to protect people and fly. That's awesome, Jack. That's very cool. Um... 
Awesome. Uh, my power would be to manipulate time, says Ice to meet you. Very cool, Ice to meet you. There we go. That's another first place finish. I Not want, bad. I want the power of all the Smash Brothers in one for all. So Awesome, Brazen. I got a question for you guys. How do you feel about um, the Smash Brothers, Warner Brothers game, the leak being real, and the fact that Warner Brothers had to go out of their way and release uh, information on the game? And there might actually be a beta starting up as early as January. Might even be a beta at the end of December, Turn which would be when it's epic. Safe to do so. Um, my, let's see. I would want uh mind control so I could slap rude, rude customers at work. Says Jack Reacher. Oof. Yeah, I mean that would be great, actually. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Um, that's so soon, January. Wow, says Jack. Yep. Robino says regeneration as good as Deadpool. Oh wow, Robino, that would be cool. And Tim says, yards. Oh yeah. Turn left. Alien spaceship. Whoops. Sonic 2 looks like so much fun, says Jack. Oh, yeah. Sonic 2 on the uh, Genesis thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Sonic 2 is the best retro Sonic game. In 100 yards. Yeah, Sonic Ever. 2 was the best one. It was my favorite, and I played... Their collection isn't... I would say that the, the amount of games that they have on the um, Nintendo Switch Online, the Genesis has probably the best like representation of what the Genesis was. Like, the launch window games that they put on there, Shinobi, you know, um, Return of the Ninja Master, Shinobi 3, they have Strider on there, they've got this amazing shoot 'em up game, they have uh, Sonic 2, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage 2, the one with Skate, which is arguably the best Streets of Rage ever. Um, they have, uh, well, I mean, Robotnik's Bean Machine is okay. But, I mean, I guess that's kind of a weak one. And, uh, they don't have Comic Zone. I was surprised they didn't put Comic Zone on there. Brazen says, Ultra Instinct Shaggy is canon. Ultra Instinct, yep, Shaggy is canon. <laughs> yep. Um, Big Nate says, my superpower, I guess it would be Ice Breath. Mmm. But more Gears, um, person, oh, shoot, uh, bow and arrows and stuff. Okay, awesome, Big Nate. Katsune says, I would have the ability to manipulate all of darkness and the ability to heal all injuries and diseases. Wow. Wow, Katsune. Pretty cool. Very cool, Big Nate and Katsune. Very awesome. Um, Where are we going? Oh, this way. I would be able to summon a stand called Crazy Diamond. Oh, interesting, sad. Ah, uh, JoJo reference. Tim says, as when long as Ultra Instinct so. is in the game, I would consider buying it, says Tim. Ultra Instinct Goku is... Uh, I'm sorry. Ultra Instinct Shaggy, using 1% of his power, is canon and in a Warner Brothers Multiverses game. And it's a free-to-play game. So basically, they took the model of uh, Brawlhalla, except with licensed characters. And it's going to have a better netcode than Smash Brothers and Nicktoons. Or Nickelodeon All Stars. Nickelodeon All Stars is done. Oh wow! Like it is R.I.P. The Warner Brothers game. I mean, I'm biased towards Warner Brothers, obviously. But um, voice acting day one: Kevin Conroy back as Batman, Tim Daly as Superman, the one of the most popular actors as Bugs again. You've got um, a funny Shaggy voice actor. It, it's not the guy from um, the Shaggy movies, like the live action ones from the 2000s. It's the Dude who came after him, but he's okay. Hmm. Um, I would prefer that they they did the Matthew one for Shaggy, but you know, voice acting day one. Uh, the gameplay looks great. They have you can play the game solo, or they have like a built-in co-op feature where the two of you can do tag team battles and actually incorporate your moves into tag team stuff. So Batman throws down the um, the smoke bomb, then another character could utilize a different move. And you kind of like, it changes the format of how these Smash Brothers style games work. So Warner Brothers is actually building upon um, the, the, the co-op aspect of the game. But it also, if you want to play it solo, then you can play it um, a different way. But they, the core mechanic of the game is made to be co-op, in a sense. Like Amber and I would go online and, and play people and, you know, play you guys or whatever. But it would be like two on two. And then if people wanted to do free for all, like, you know, one character each, you can do that too. But, I mean, the netcode is going to be really good, supposedly, and, you know, I, 
it already looks miles better than the Nickelodeon game. The Nickelodeon game mm-hmm. feels like Smash Brothers Melee, and they just really didn't. the The throws look really bad. A lot of the graphics look bad. Um, this game, it looks like Warner Brothers is bringing their A game, which is impressive. It really is. Mm. Mage Wolf says his power would be to be able to use magic spells. Awesome, Mage Wolf. So you'd be able to use any magic. That's cool. Um, Jack Reacher says, I saw something about that this morning. What consoles is it on? PlayStation, Xbox, mm. Steam. It's not coming to Switch, um, as far as we know. Jack Robbins has a question he's asked a couple of times. Sure. I want to focus more on trying to finish and play more games. How do you focus on one game? Because I start a game and sometimes never finished. Any advice? Mm, I, mean, I mean, I usually set aside about a week and a half to beat a game, and then I move on to the next one. Or, I mean, for my channel, I have to look at so many games because my audience with the... Um, not the attention span, with the um, notification system being faulty, you never know how long... Um, example, we had like close to 300 people watching the first episode of Pokemon Today Live. Uh, the next episode we did a Pokemon, it was like, it started around, I think it got up to like 210 people, and then it dropped down to about like 170 is what YouTube counted as a view. Like 170 viewers for close to two hours. And then the third stream we did, the ma- it maxed at like, I think 175 people. So I mean, you can see that it's gradually going down. Start around 300. That's going to be probably four or five thousand views, um, and then uh, the second episode will probably get like three or four thousand, and then the third episode will get. Um, it just, it, you know, we have to get through the games as quickly as possible because, like, uh, it's it's easier for people to find our stuff, I guess, because like we get through the game quicker. Um, we used to do uploads and take our time with stuff, but you really can't anymore. But I've always, even before. Um, the YouTube issues like me personally as a gamer I would always beat a game in about a week always um, especially once I became a youtuber it was like I could beat a game in a week uh, sometimes when I was a game journalist though uh, and I was given a game to do for work I had to beat that game over the weekend so I had 48 hours to beat the game and then I over the course of that month my company I worked for would probably have me look at six games that I would have to beat, you know, sometimes I'd have to beat, like, two two games a week and, like, do a write-up or write a guide or something like that. Um, it was nuts. Jack says, so do you think I should finish a, a game I start or give it a week, like you said, and if I haven't made any progress, just move on then? You can if you want to, unless you really like the game, you know. If it's something you're getting bored with, yeah, I mean, after a week... Um, you can move on to something else if you really want to. I mean, I try to finish every game I do, but... I don't know, like... Or you could just... I mean, like, on my... I mean, it's not like I have very good advice, but... On my K-Wife channel, uh, I'm trying to do, like... Since I have, like, several games I'm supposed to be doing, Monster Hunter, Assassin's Creed, I'm supposed to be finishing... Like, I have to do Animal Crossing, because they have new content and that. It, and then I'm doing Monster Hunter Stories. That's like four different games I'm supposed to be working on. So all I can do is an hour episode Uh-oh. of each of those a week. That's four hours a week. So like, I don't know. For me, I can only play a game an hour a week of each game. I don't have any other time because I have to do laundry and everything. I have to do, I have to go out shopping. I have to help Luke with the thumbnails. Like I can't, I have the other channel, I can't. I don't have any time. Like, I don't have time, so go. I don't know. Like, um, hey Brady, like you could you could set aside like four hours a day, or it depends on how much time extra time you have. Like, you know, if it's the summer and you have four hours a day, or you could do four hours a week, or you could do like two hours a day. Yeah, I mean, like, it most depends most on... people they come home from work and either they'll watch Netflix or or Hulu or they'll game for like a couple hours. It depends on like how much time you so. have. Like, mm-hmm. like it's really hard. Luke and I don't really even have very much time. Like, he gets up, he's streaming, he's streaming, he's streaming. Yards, then he's editing. Like, there's hardly any like 
There are some games where people are always like, Oh, Amber and Luke, you should go grind in this game. There's no time to grind. Well, I'm grinding in Pokemon tonight because I want my character stronger. But in general, there's no time really to grind in most games because yeah. we're always editing or sleeping or getting up and you know, getting food for the next... Like, I don't really even have a moment to grind in a lot of things. So, like, I don't know. It's just... It all depends on, like, your schedule, really... I mean, it really depends on how much free time you have because, you know, some people have more time in the summer or whatever. I don't know. For me, I only have four hours a week to really do my, my KY channel. That's it. I only have four hours a week for me. Mm -hmm. so. All right, let's do the next one. This is Costa, uh, Costa Esta. Uh, how would you say that? Brady yeah. said he totally didn't just sleep early. Costa Este Cross Country. Okay. Uh, Costa Este Cross Country. Uh, Alright, so the next one, this is 56 minutes and uh, we'll say this is uh, Costa S Cross Country. Este. Yeah, close enough. Wow, what? Um. It works. <clears throat> We're actually doing really well uh, with these off-road races tonight. I've gotten first almost every time. Uh, I'm sure the game is going to start to... The AI is going to start being mean to me now. Because I've gotten first in like three races so far. It looks like it's a famous hotel. Hmm. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Ow. I popped my neck wrong. That hurts. Don't you hate that? You pop your neck wrong and then it's like, ah! It was terrible. Oh, come on, Mr. Bronco. Come on, Mr. Bronco. See, this is exactly what I've noticed the rule of threes with this game. If you win three races in a row, on your fourth race, that's when the AI is like, all right, we need to stop this guy. This is, enough is enough. And then they just, they start to, even on normal difficulty, they just start to amp up. I mean, I, I guess I like that, but the problem is my car can't be upgraded anymore. My car is maxed. Like this, the Ford Bronco that I've been using like the past two nights now for these off-road races, I can't do anything more to this car. It's done. Like I, there's nothing more that can be done to fine tune it, as far as I know. Uh, I maxed it for almost 200,000. It's done. Um, and there's no... If, if there was a turbo button you could hit, you know, like most arcade racers, I wouldn't have a problem because it'd be like, all right, I need to be a little sneakier and, uh, you know, line it up so I can get a straightaway and hit a turbo or something like that. But uh, it's all about slingshotting and, you know, I kind of like bounce off cars if I can and try to go on the outside and pass them and things like that. But... Um, I do, I do miss like the the turbo option. Costa este. Ah, oh, Amber, I was, I can't read text while driving, sweetie. Costa Este means east coast. Ah. Oh. It's the east coast of Mexico. Oh, that's cool. We actually live on the Costa Este of the United States, so this is the east coast of Mexico. But yeah, this is definitely what I'm noticing. Like every night. That I win like three races in a row. The fourth race is always pretty intense. Maybe it's like the AI is learning. Or they I think the AI does learn. Or they ramp it up for you. I, either either the AI learns or the game is kind of like, nah, he's winning too much. So let's 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 change that. And now I'm not gonna be able to catch the guy in first place. Is like it, it's 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 like. I thought in ah. War, I thought in Warcraft the orcs learned something like that in the old Warcraft. In the old Warcraft game, yeah, they had. The AI got smarter as you played. Oh, you made a some Ah, nope. It wasn't enough of a mistake. He's still... Dang it! See? 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 It's the same thing! I go from first to second! Every single time! And now it's not... Third! What?! Sorry, that was my bad. I showed you... What? How? I was second! How'd I get third? What? What, 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 no? How? He, did he come on the other side of me? What? What? 
What are you talking about? Redo that. All right. Have a good day, said Why? Thanks for hanging out. What the? How did that happen? All right, going dark. Alright, have a good night, Mage Wolf. Oh, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Uh, okay. Hydroplane. Another hydroplane. Come on, you got those new tires, don't waste them. Mm, now I'm thrown off because I know I'm going to get second no matter what, and now my racing's just all... Mind games. Nope. Too far out. I need to be further... Need to be closer behind... What is that, a Hummer? Where are you? Right in line with that thing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Still, that's going to be a problem. It's a problem. Whoa! Yeah, I can't catch them. Every single time. You know what? I needed to make it look like I wasn't winning those races. I should have made those races closer, and then maybe the game would have been like, oh, okay. Nope, he barely won, so we're, we're going to keep things interesting. Nope. Recover, recover, pass, 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 pass! Thank you. Now, get that number one fool. Please, come on. Come on, I just spent so much money upgrading this car! Crying out loud. You can just go to sleep, honey, you're fine. You're well past your, your normal, like, but it's, it's been fun. Blast it. Come on, baby. Don't forget to take your stuff, okay? Thank you. Ah, no freaking way. Oh, come on! Being for reals right now. You're being for reals with me! Come on! Slingshot past this fool. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh! Oh, yes! Murder that fool! Goodbye! That was dirty racing, I don't care. Love you too, honey. Whoa! Whoa! Ha 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 ha! Ah, I don't care. Oh. Oh, yeah. Worth it! I just slammed that fool in the tree. I didn't care. I was like, bye. <laughs> you ain't crossing that finish line. See ya. Oh, uh, yeah, I, yep, 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 yep. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, winning's all that matters. I don't care. It's a video game. It's fine. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. <sighs> Night sweepy. Oh my gosh. Um, can you turn off the light, sweetheart? My eyes are kind of sensitive. I I usually like turn it dark. No. Safe to do so. Little light will make me sleepy. I'm going to have it pitch black so I can see the road better. I am weird, but... Thank you. That's so much better. Thank you, babe. Have a good sleep, Amber. Alright, so next off-road race is... <laughs> Once I... I'll, I'll probably see you be as I'm going up to sleep, like, around 6, 7 in the morning. Um, can I, baby? Okay, so we are here, and we're going to this next off-road race up here. That's going to be quite a ways, so we need to change cars. 
Let's bring back uh, the um, the Ferrari. Your pillows down here. Well, you have to play dirty with the AI. I I can't. Uh, I honestly can't say if I'm racing like a, a a human player, I wouldn't do the same, especially if they had better specs of their cars. You know, they're they're still not going to cross that finish line if they hit a tree. <laughs> Call this cruising, cruise, cruising, cruising USA. I don't know. All right, let's go. In 200 yards. This kind of reminds me of uh, the car that was in those cruising USA turn games left. a little bit. Those old arcade racers. That was probably... Honey, I have new people that come on at this time all the time. You're on... I mean, out of our 9,000 videos, you've been on probably 8,600 of them. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think I've done 400 solo videos. I've done... I I don't know how many I've done that you haven't been on. Maybe a hundred. Mm, no, I don't think that's the right... I, I'm not the best with math, so I don't I don't think that... It's, it's probably like under a hundred. Definitely, because... Well, there was a time you were in school, and I was doing solo streams too, like late at night, some games. But you know, majority of our series, you're all, you're on all those, like ones where we actually do a series. The weird streams that I do, like I can't indie games. I don't know weird stuff. I haven't done that many indie games. I've done like maybe a few hundred indie games in 12 years. But yeah, I mean. Safe to do so. You get to go to sleep now, honey. Thank you so much for hanging out. I had so much fun today. Pokemon was a blast. And showing you off this uh, sports car was really cool, too. Oops. Mm, that's some type of band shell thing. That's where my experience is. Aw, we've almost collected all the experience. It says I only have, uh, I have 99 out of 200. Oh, you haven't done anything yet. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I should tune this thing up, because it's it's fighting me here. It doesn't like sand. Mr. Ferrari 1989 does not like sand. It's slamming into the wall there. Well, I mean, it wasn't all at once, Amber. It was over time. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Of course you do. Of course you do. Yep. Yeah, it does. It does. That... That was my way of helping, like, the channel, though. That's all. Ambi's very important. Never said you weren't. Uh, it's alright. It was important for you to mention, so you're fine. Alright. Well, you have a sweet sleep, on. I'm gonna be driving around for a while. I see another experience thingy somewhere. Where are you? If you're on a building, I'm going to be so ticked. Because I do not want to be flying on buildings right now. Flying on buildings is not... This is the most annoying thing in this game. Good. Mm-hmm. Whoa! It's time to expand. What are we doing next? Miss you too. More Baja ness. Couldn't agree. Baja. More. I'll tell Alec the title is a go. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that's about all I can think of for Horizon Wilds. You did it. It doesn't matter. 
Alright. You too. Okay, so... No, I don't want to go there. I don't want to do a Titan yet. Uh-uh. Nope. I want to finish all these little races first. So now, we only have a few Baja thingies left. We got this Baja thingy. Which I think that's where I was going next. I did not finish this one. I got wrecked. Got second place. Boo. Uh, I got second place over here. This was second. You see, no trophy. Did not come in first. No points. Um, Where else? There was a couple other races that I bombed. This one I did not. I came in second. There's no reward for second. Because you're second. Uh, doesn't count. Okay, so where is it? Aha! There we go, this one. This is where we're going. This is where we're going. Just got word that you've approved construction on the Titan. Oh, this'll be fun. See you there. Nah, I'm not doing the Titan yet there, bro. Turn around. I am so. going where we don't need roads. Recalculating route. In 100 yards, turn right. Wait, I got lost. Where is my turn race? Around. It is safe to do so. Oh, no, no. Where's my arrow? Uh, I gotta go that way, so then my car needs to turn here. Maybe this way? Level 54. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There it is. That whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait a second there. Back up. Back up, please. No, I don't think I will back up. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so we got that XP on the way, and uh, there's actually quite a few XP on the way over here. Hey, what do you know? Well, maybe I'll do some pit stops. Maybe. Maybe a few. Uh, first things first. We're going off-road starting now. Oh, what do you know? There, I have. There's a. Uh, oh no, that's a barn. Never mind. That's a barn. Wait. There's an XP thing nearby. Where? Where? What are you talking about? Seriously? Oh. Ah. There is. Okay. Well, I'll go do that first then. It's like right around here. Oh, stop it, stomach! You ate. Knock it off. Need after the stream. Let's see. Where is that sweet, sweet XP at? Okay. In 400 yards. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh no, tree! Okay. Tiny tree. Oh, you stinker. Okay, whatever. Uh, and then there's another XP thing right there. That's probably on a building, though. Turn I'm going to say building. When it is safe to do so. In 100 yards, That's on a building. Or inside of a building. No way! What? How? How? You have arrived at your destination. Why? Why would you do that? What? 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 How? There's no ramps nearby. There's no mountains. What, am I expect a base jump? I mean, this is the part where they should let you use your drone to knock it over. There's literally nothing here. What the heck, man? No freaking way. Yeah, there's nothing there. Nothing there for miles. There's a mountain way back there. 
That's messed up. That is 100% messed up. Shame, you guys. Shame. Shame! That is so wrong. Whatever. You know what? Fine. Make a mental note of how much that sucks. Uh, right, so this is another one I can't get. Let's get the one that's back here. I can definitely get that one. Turn around when it is safe to mm -hmm. do so. Turn around when it's safe At to do so. Take the first exit. You believe how trolly that is? That's messed up. That is way past not cool. Almost makes me think they're gonna put like some type of flying vehicle in here or something. I don't know. Alright, I'm just Let's go to the race. Uh wrong on so many levels. So many levels is wrong. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I don't think I will. You can't tell me what to do. Poor Ferrari. I'm sorry. In 400 yards, turn left. Gosh. I'm just trying to figure out how one would even get that. I can understand if there's like a ramp nearby and you need some serious air to get that, but... I mean... I don't know. Turn around. There was like one dirt mound, but it was nowhere near. And you can't get that much height in this game. That I know of. Maybe they should just upgrade the drone so you can get something like that. I don't know. Hello, Zelda. Alright, going up. Please don't be a big tree. Oh, I said please. I said please don't be a big tree. Oh, wait, did we break the car? It stalled for a second there. That was weird. I have not seen the one in the radio tower yet either, no. So, how are you supposed to get those, um, those upgrades, if, or not upgrades, those XP icons if you can't jump? And you can't use the uh, drone. How is one supposed to collect that stuff? If you have to be in the car to do it. They give you motorcycles? ATVs? Come on, buddy. Make your way up that mountain. Oh, I'm destroying this engine. I'm destroying this car. Oh! Almost at the top! Keep going! Oh, nuts. Well, that didn't work. Fine. Okay, so this little car can't climb up here. Fine. Be that way, game. I'll find another way up. You think this is going to deter me? Nah. It's not going to deter me. I'll just find another way. I'll make myself even faster. That's right. Don't tell me I can't go up that way. What do you know? Okay, apparently I can't get up there. Fine. Go the long way. I'm ruining my off-road fun game. I bet you Batman could get up there. Yeah, I bet you my Batman car could get up there easy. Oops.
Ups. Oops. Seriously? Oh, that's it. Sorry, Ferrari. It's been fun. But Batman can do the job you can't. I don't know why he can. He just can. Wait, where's Batman? Ah. Let's do a Batman for old time's sake. Let's go. <sighs> Wait, why did they... Oh, they put me on the road right where it was? That's not fair. Fine. Redirected me right on the same road I needed to go on. You know what? I don't care. Whatever. Is this the right one? Uh... Final cross country? Okay. Called that cruising USA and messed up. So 121.30 is photo final. Let's roll. We're going to keep with the Bronco. Yep. Ford Bronco it is. Love the variety plate. <clears throat> no! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! If I wanted to get smoked, I'd get smoked! I'm barely getting first as it is. Go away! Oh no. Hate you! Come on, man! Jerk face. Great. You just ruined my race, man. Ah. You love... You love the Pokemon? Cool. More Pokemon tomorrow. This is Forza right now. This is this is serious, you guys. Not that Pokemon's not serious, but Aw oh, dang it. What? They tell me to change the difficulty, and this fool is already way up ahead of me. Would you care to change the difficulty? Uh I can't even reach the guy in first yet. What are you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? I'm going to be fighting with him for the next few minutes just trying to pass him. But yes, I'm winning easily. Okay, let's go with that. Shoot. Riding a Hummer? I was trying to, you know, turn into the. Never mind. Not great. I gave him a push. He was supposed to give me a push. No. Turn more. Turn more. More. Dang it. Aha, uh -huh, I'm all screwed up now. Everything's ruined. Everything's ruined. Of course I missed a checkpoint. Of course. Of course. Of course I did. Yeah. Oh! 
Oh, 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 what now? Goodbye. Goodbye. You made a mistake, you're paying for it. See ya. Go, 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 go faster, go faster, go faster. He's right there. I make one mistake, it's over. I make one mistake, I'm hosed. And that's it. That's that's the one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Woo. How do you get the warthog? Vroom, 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 vroom. Cool. You buy it, I'm pretty sure, for a lot. I dare you to take out every cross-country race that arrives in Mexico. Go on. No, seriously, do it. That'd be amazing. In 400 yards, turn left. <laughs> Rocket League? They have a Rocket League mode in this? How does that work? Recalculating route. In 200 yards, turn left. How, how does one hit the... Whoa. Alright. Uh... What is this race? No. Did I do it? No. There's still another... Looks like there's another Baja one still. Okay. Turn around when it is safe to do so. No, I don't want to. In 400 yards, turn left. You just downloaded this game? Awesome, have fun. It's a great game. I enjoy it. In 400 yards... Turn left. In 200 yards, turn uh, right. Can you, do you mind repeating? Oh, never mind, I'm, I'm going the right way. In 400 yards, I'll stab. Turn right. I messed up my windshield. Not cool. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on. That looked like a small tree. Now you're just... Okay, you know what? That was a big tree. I just felt like hitting it anyway. For reasons. Reasons you don't know, need to know about, game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, am I up here where the race is now? In 400 yards, turn Happy right. little accidents. That's right. Exactly. Like that one. And that one. And that one. And that one. That's a happy accident. So is that. So is that. All of this. Okay, this has to be the last of the Baja races. And then what? I don't know. At the roundabout, Whoopsies. The third exit. I lost my little mirror. Oh, I did break it off. Whoops. Ah, I don't need it. Yards. Turn right. Game's in third person. I can see totes fine. Probably. Turn right. No. Okay, maybe I'll listen to you just a little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. Now. A smidgen. In 200 
yards. Turn left. Turn Wait, left. where is the race? I was nowhere near it! Why would you tell me I'm so close to where the race is if I'm not even... You know what? I don't care. In 100 yards, turn I mean, left. maybe I care a little. A little bit. Not a lot. Yards, a smidgen. Crap! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Yeah, that's called tree dodging, yo. Uh, all right. So this is Copper Canyon. Copper Canyon race. All right. Cross country Copper Canyon. Killed by one tree branch. One hour, 31 minutes, and uh, 20. This is a uh, Copper Canyon. Canyon, BC. Stand for cross country. Canyon. Yeah. Canyon. Oh. All right, let's rock. Nope, sticking with the Bronco. So far, so good. Copper Canyon Cross Country. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. It's racing time. Yeehaw! No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Okay, that's better. Ooh, that could have been bad. I can't pass these fools. Why? Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Yes, please. No, 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 no. Get back up. Get back up. Thank you. I don't care. That was 20% in, and I'm already in the uh, top two. Okay, top three. Oh, you... Mmm, tree. Stay away from the tree, me. Stay on the outside, outside. Not, not that side. Not that side. Not that... No... Outside, 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 outside. Yes, yes, yes! No! No! Shoot! Oh, if I could just hold this. Just hold this. Yeah! Don't screw up. You screwed up! Oh, crap! No, correct, correct, correct. No! Dang it. No, 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 no! Oh! But I have the lead! I have the stinking lead! Oh! No! Get away from me. Okay, alright. Just calm down, goose rubber. Goose rubber. Breathe in. Ah, <sighs> breathe out. Ah! Nuts! Ah, for crying out! Ugh. Stupid breathing! Where did you come from? He, he, he got... How did he catch up so... I hate you. Shoot. 
Shoot. No. No, stupid. Nah. Oh. Evil, evil man. Don't crash. Don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh, no. Yeah, if you don't pass me, I would be honestly surprised. Yeah, he's right now. Oh, no! Why did you do that? Why? Don't you dare do that to me. Stay away from me. Stay away, stay away back there. Leave me alone. You need to practice social distancing. Stay back there, crap. No! 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 How did you... Oh, for... Jeez! You just breathe funny and these guys are on you. Oh my gosh. No. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I love the rewind feature. It's my best friend. Yep. I'm okay. I'm okay. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm I'm great. Uh, but now I have to go back and try to do races I didn't win before. Because I think I'm done. This cactus one needs to be done again. Uh, this one is done. This one needs to be done again. This one needs to be done again. That one needs to be done again. Hmm. Okay. Yep. They should call this game Time Racer. Yeah, because you have the ability to rewind time. Yeah, I know. I think there'd be a lot more people raging if they didn't have the uh, the time thing. I don't know. I mean, everybody was telling me when I first got this game, you can rewind, you can rewind. I'm like, what? What do you mean you can rewind in a racing game? What are you talking about? I can be Neo? And sure enough, you can rewind and everything. And I was like, well, that kind of feels like cheating. They're like, no, 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 it's not It's not cheating. It's, it's how this game, it's part of this game's mechanics. I'm thinking, but why? I mean, that's why you have the restart option in a race. You pause it, and then you would go restart race. Because when you screw up, the rewind feature makes it so that if you screw up, you have a few seconds, a few milliseconds to correct it and then win the race. I, I, I don't know. Recalculating route. I mean, I feel bad that I have to use the rewind feature to win most of the races. It makes me feel terrible inside. It's like, mm. I'm terrible at this game. Rewind. Up oh, I messed this up. Rewind. Ah, I missed this. Rewind. Ah, oh, hydroplane. Rewind. 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 There's only one penalty that happens in this game that rewinding can't fix, and that's when you smash into stuff and lose your points. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I think that's part of the reason why I take myself off road so much is because at least like there's a challenge out here. Like, if I'm getting tons of points, like 60,000 points, and I slam into a tree, all those points were for nothing. And it makes me feel better. It's like, aha! I can't fix that mistake! Like that! Don't clip that. That was purely for educational purposes. I was instructing people on 
how you can't rewind certain things. I just happened to purposely run into that tree after amassing a, a decent amount of points just now. <clears throat> it was purely for demonstration purposes. Oh, shut up, GPS! In 100 yards, turn right. 100 yards, remove GPS from vehicle and toss it in nearby brook. Turn around when it is safe to do yes, so. it is safe to do so. Let's do this. It's happening. I'm gonna just rip you out of here and toss you right out into the water. Okay, where's the rip out GPS button? No, that's my horn. You got lucky. Cause I'm I'm in I'm I'm over the edge. Turn around when it's safe to do so. You turn around when it's safe to do so. You're not even real. You're not even sentient. You don't even have feelings. It's just a program voice telling me what to do. Well, I choose to ignore you. And that tree. That tree doesn't exist. It's a figment of my imagination. If I think really long and hard, then the tree will disappear. Um... No, I'm perfectly safe. I'm out here on the open plain. Only thing I have to worry about is trees and the occasional cow. Actually, I haven't. No, oh, I haven't really seen a cow in this. I've seen a donkey, some chickens, a wolf. That's about it. I don't even really see birds flying around very much. Has anybody seen any birds in this game? Maybe ducks. I don't know. Also, do they have a lot of uh, baseball fields in Mexico? Because I haven't seen a lot of baseball fields. I thought they had like a lot of um, uh, minor league teams or something like that that would train in Mexico or something like that. Or was that in the 90s or the 80s or something? Because if all this lush, um, beautiful open fields, I could see lots of like tiny little baseball fields scattered throughout Mexico or something. Unless it doesn't work that way, I don't know. Whoa! Haha! Take that tree! Take the first exit. It's called dodging tree. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, skill point! Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no! That counted as a crash? It did not! You! Counted as a crash. Sure, it did. Of course. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I'm not listening. Recalculating route in 100 yards. Turn left. I technically did make a turn. It just wasn't the one that you wanted me to take a turn with. Ha. You have arrived at your destination. All right, let's try this one again. So we did not get first in this race. We got second. You're not even real. You're a Siri wannabe. I like that. I'm going to use that. I'm stealing that. That's a good one. All right. This is uh, 143. Uh, oh, 144.30. Uh, Restos Cross CC. We'll call it Battle with GPS. 136. 37. GPS argument. You know, I always feel real bad when people find this uh, live stream series because it's kind of crazy. You, you randomly turn in on a channel where a guy's arguing with a pre programmed GPS. That's going to make people think a lot of stuff. And I don't care. All right, let's try to get first. We got second last time. I think. It's, 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 it's. 
Please get first. Please pass this course. Or it'll never be finished. Oh, I know where we are. Whoa. I used the uh, sport vehicle for this yesterday. Now I'm using the Bronco. Personally, I think the Bronco handles these races better than the uh, uh, sport vehicle I was using. Rally sport car thing. Oh no. Tim, you've done the same with other... It's always fun to yell at someone that can't like say anything back to you, isn't it? Preferably, you know, things that aren't really alive. Oh, snap! See ya! Aw! But that was really good. Hey, I have that truck. I have that truck. I bought that truck. Or, er, wait, did I buy that truck? No, I won that truck. I won that truck. Yeah. I won it in a wheel thingy. Oops. Oh, crap. Well, that happened. That happened. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh. I'll take it. Wasn't the prettiest racing, but... I think it gave me first place. Perhaps. Holy crap! Ow! Oh, he... Oh, oh, okay. I can afford to make one more mistake. Haha. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, wait, nope, nope, he's right there. Never mind, I shouldn't have looked back. Don't look back. Take it from me, never look back. Just keep going. Stick to your guns. Crap. Don't miss the checkpoints. Definitely do not miss the checkpoints. You can hit the checkpoints and it counts, but don't miss them. Miss the checkpoints and then you're done, son. That's a life tip. You can hit the checkpoints, but you can't miss them. It still counts. So if you think you're going to miss it, do your best to aim for the checkpoint. Missed it, and see, now I have to rewind. How come you take the Batman game seriously, but not this game? Uh, I only take Batman seriously. I don't know why. Character flaw? I don't know. I guess I secretly like Batman stuff so much that it's like... I get sucked into it, whereas every other video game is just a video game to me. I don't know. I can't tell you why I'm crazy. I just am. Like a fox. It's kind of interesting. Batman's nuts, too. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe I related to it. Like, ah, there's another crazy guy who jumps off rooftop, rooftops and wears spandex and a cowl. I can see myself in this comic book character. Said no one ever. I'm gonna be exactly like this person. Breaks leg, jumping off the roof. Yay! Oh. I don't understand people's problems these days. I really don't. Like... As a kid, I liked Green Lantern, and I never felt bad, like, being like, Oh, I see this guy who has a different skin color than me, and he's really cool, and I feel bad that I am not this person. It's like, Jon Stewart was cool, and I liked reading his comics, and I never felt bad about reading his comics, or ever, like... I don't envision myself as this character. It's like, of course I don't envision myself with superpowers. It's a comic book. You know? I, I just... I don't... I don't really understand kids today. It's weird to me. I know, Zelda. See, Zelda gets it. See, look at that. I don't even get anything cool until I get first place. Is that dude carrying around a bat? Are they going to, like, confiscate that thing? He's literally got a weapon on the stage. And if he's not happy with second place, how do I know he's not just going to turn around and smack me with the bat? And be like, you got first. 
Come here, SA. Boom. You know? I think they should really take that away from him because what happens if he doesn't come in second place in the next race? I mean, we're going to see him in the parking lot taking out his aggression on a bunch of, uh, you know, SUVs. That'd be like... It would be very dangerous to give me a crowbar and then have me do a victory celebration with it. I, I just... I don't see how that would be a very safe thing to happen. You know, jumping up and down, maybe doing jumping jacks, that's totally fine. But literally, the man is twirling around a club. I, I say that's all kinds of shenanigans involved with that. I don't care if the club was given to him by his grandpappy, it's still a weapon. You know? Oh, we only have 50 more of those to find. Wait, 132 out of 250? Wow, we're almost done with all that stuff, except for the trolley levels. But see, this is exactly what I was talking about before. You have to get first place for you to get the little check mark. They don't care if you qualify. They don't. They're like, Psh. you qualified? Great. Guess what? You have to do the race again. You want to know why? Because you suck. That's why. Ha! It doesn't count. Deal with it. So now I'm going through and basically doing all the races I failed at. Because we're finishing it. We're finishing the cross-country stuff. Because I say so. That's why. Where am I? Oh, this is nice. Now, do you guys have crocodiles in uh, Mexico? Because, you know, me sitting here with my uh, Ford Bronco, but I have to worry about, you know, like, someone coming out and You know? Like, trying to get inside my car as I'm sitting here in the mud. Waiting for a T-Rex to come by. I know they have a lot of alligators in Florida, but I, I don't know what type of, like, vicious sea creatures you guys have in Mexico. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Past Zelda's bedtime? Nah. I mean, she's fast asleep. This is how I know Zelda's feeling better. When a cat from Stormy Ryan message? Thank you. Um, I'll read it after. Um, da -da 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 what was I doing? Oh, Zelda. How you know um, Zelda's feeling better is she is actually sleeping to the side. Remember I said she's not a lap cat? Like, she, um, she's a very independent kitty that, like, does not like to sit on people's laps unless she's not feeling well. So what she normally does, her routine, I kid you not, even when Shadow was still with us, um, Zelda would always, you know, kind of like, she'd be like, hey, I'm going to jump up on your lap, and then I'm going to lie down next to you. So I'm, I'm going to give you the appearance that I want to cuddle, but I don't want to cuddle. I just, I want to use the warmth of your leg on the side, and I'm going to curl up, and I'm going to use you, but I'm not going to be sitting on you. But when she doesn't feel well, she's like, oh, hey, I, I don't feel good, so I'm going to jump on your lap. And then you're kind of like, oh, no, what's wrong with the cat? Oh, you have piranhas in Mexico? Holy cow. You can keep your piranhas. I'll keep the alligators in the U.S. I, I, w I would rather deal with an alligator than piranhas. I've seen Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you know, fatality by piranhas. I need to get me one of those sound effect machines and, like, have those play on my streams, especially late night. When I randomly run into somebody in Fortnite, I just play the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> you know? Or, like, uh, I win a race or something, I play the NBA Jam. He's on fire! Something like that. Just, I don't know. Be fun. I don't know how to get a working soundboard, though. I used to have a, a soundboard when I uh, did a podcast with people, but I don't know how that would work with a um, with a live stream. In 400 yards, um, I like clingy cats. I, I, like, I like to snuggle with kitties, too, but I'm telling you how I know Zelda's feeling much better when we've invested money in, for the vet to look at her. Because the vet thought she had, like, uh, you know, cancer, like tummy cancer. Um, for the past, like, three weeks now that she's been uh, gaining weight again, and, the, you know, the screening for the cat cancer came back negative, which is yay. Zelda's only five years old, so that would be kind of concerning. Like, oh my gosh, it's the curse of cats dying every five years for me, and Zelda has broken the curse. It's like, yes! Zelda might actually be around for 20 years, like when I was a kid. My cats lived for 18, 20 years. The cats I've gotten since we since we got married, it's like the five to six year curse. 
Actually, four to five years. Um, because they have, like, pre-existing conditions we don't know about. Tink had a heart condition, and just, like, one day that was it. Even though we had her on medicine for years, and, you know, there's nothing you can do. Russian blues are great for allergies, but at the same time, like, their breeding, I guess, creates, like, a heart disease. And Shadow was much older than we thought. Like, the, the person who we got Shadow from said, oh, yeah, she's, like, probably nine or seven years old. Uh, the last vet we went to, they looked at her teeth and they're like, oh my gosh, we think Shadow, when you adopted her, she was actually like 14. I was like, holy cow! So, when I thought I had this cat that was much younger, and, you know, causing all these kind of problems, I had an elder cat, and I don't think I'll ever adopt an elder cat again, because she made such a mess. All the time. But it wasn't her fault, because she was basically geriatric. She was like um, Samurai's age when Samurai was kind of like on his way out, you know? And and my cat, Samurai, he was a tough cookie. Like he had like, uh, he was anemic, he had liver cancer, and he lived like four or five years longer than Tink did. Or Tink and uh, Shadow. Well, actually no, Shadow, Shadow lived realistically to be like 16 or 17. Because if she was like 14 when we adopt her, supposedly 14 or 12, then she lived to be about 17 and a half, 18, close to 18 years old. Um, but yeah, I was I was freaking out with the vet, and I, I had them run all kinds of tests on Zelda. Because I'm like, she's only five years old. She's going to be six years old soon. There's no way that she has, you know, cat cancer. It's impossible. Um, and yeah, it was impossible. She had some type of... Um, stomach virus or something but she's mostly back to being her same annoying kind of like independent I'm not gonna sit on your lap cat and that's how you know she's feeling better because her personality a cat's personality changes when they get um, sick like they that's that's how you as an owner because they're very prideful animals they don't you know they don't they don't want people to know that there's something wrong with them so they they have other ways of subtly letting you know there's uh, something going on with them. They change small aspects of their personality, and if you can catch what they're doing and be like, wait a second, you never did this before. Uh, like meowing all the time. Like, she was meowing all the time. Um, and she doesn't meow anymore. You can hear she's super quiet right now. She just, you know, once in a while she'll make a noise to let you know, hey, I'm around, what's up? But for the most part, she's just kind of stealing my body warmth on the side. And now I'm cold. Because she, she, she's not evenly warm. She's not sitting on the lap to warm the whole lap. She's just half on the side here. You know? It's weird. I've never had a cat do this. It's like either you're going all the way, like, sitting normally so there'd be even distribution of warmth. But now you're like, nah, I'm just, I'm going to lie to the side of you. Because um, the couch is more comfortable than your bony legs. Ha. I'm Zelda. You have I'm savage. At your destination. So, but it's it's good to see that she's feeling better. <clears throat> Makes me happy. All right, so this is my next race that I lost. Sweet. Did I wake you up, Amber? You woke up, Ran. It's not five in the morning. Hey, how's it going? Um, did you take your BP, hon? Okay. I'm sorry you had a... a jarring week... thing. Alright, uh, next race is one I've already done, but we're gonna do it anyway. Wait. Nope, this is something else. This is Costo... Wait. I thought I did this one. Oh, this is a different one. It has the same name, though. One hour, 59. Uh, 30. This is Costo. Costa. Uh, Cross Country BC Circuit. Hang on, people. I'm a slow typer. Um, I have a question for you guys with the whole time code things. 
like, does it make live streams more easily watch back um, to have the chapters, like, listed? Is it Does it make live streams more appealing with the chapters or without the chapters? That's what I'm curious about. Because, you know, the, the chapter thing has been on YouTube now for about three months or something. Like, has it improved, like, uh, people re-watching live streams? Or is it just kind of like, eh? Because before, people see, like, a two-hour live stream and they're like, ah, I don't really want to watch this guy for two hours. I watched him live, but uh, I don't, I don't want to watch this guy. I'm like that. I'll, I'll see a YouTuber stream for five hours. I'm like, ha! Dude, stream for five hours. Yeah, I'm not watching that. Uh, I won't even watch ten minutes of that. Uh, but sometimes when I see the chapter thing, it's like, oh, I'm actually looking for this part in a walkthrough, and this guy did a live stream. And I just, you know, go right to where it says in his time code the part of the game that I need help with, and then it's like, you know. Love you too, honey. So I actually think YouTube was pretty smart with the whole chapter thing. I, I you know, I kind of like that feature. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of getting used to writing them down. I do get envious of YouTubers that have what they call um, chapter teams. They have like viewers that put together the chapter codes for them. It's like I, I do everything by myself. Except I've got one super fan that puts together all my YouTube shorts. Like he, um, uh, this guy Pixar, he has given me a list of literally 15, 20 shorts for about a week now per video so I've got like a, a notepad or a word pad filled to the brim with short ideas is what he calls them short ideas which is pretty awesome um, because then I just go and I download the video and I'm like alright this is easy I know what I'm doing guys even got a title for the video sweet and I've actually been able to put clips together a lot easier now like, because it saves me the time of, you know, going through and having to watch them. Like, oh, man, how am I going to do this, you know? Like, uh... And, uh, yeah. So it's thanks to that Pixar guy that I've been, like, really on the, on the ball with shorts and stuff now because, um, I have, like, a, a huge catalog to work with. And it's awesome. Like, I actually, before I didn't, I didn't look forward to putting shorts together because I was like, oh man, where am I going to find this funny section? Or somebody wrote how people used to help me with shorts. I'm, I'm not knocking people. I appreciate all the support. But, um, but there were people that when they would write a short, they'd be like, all right, um, I like this uh, Injustice video you did where Red Hood is shooting a bunch of people and um, it was funny. And it's like, okay, well, and then I, I, I reply to them. I was like, okay, well, what was the fight about? Like, who was Red Hood fighting? They're like, ah, uh, Red Hood was fighting um, someone. And it's like, that narrows it down, okay. And then they'll come back and they'll be like, oh, okay, okay, I know where it is now. They're like, uh, Red Hood was fighting Enchantress, and he was shooting her a lot, and it was funny. I was like, okay, where was the part that made you laugh? I don't know. It's like, huh, okay. So then I have to go through and I have to rewatch the whole video. And then it turns out that that video wasn't even the right one. He was talking about like another Red Hood video. And it just, I mean, I don't, I don't have a lot of time after the, you know, the, the Forza streams or whatever else to go through and basically rewatch a Let's Play and try to find th these sections where people thought, okay, this was kind of funny, you know? So, I mean, this, this Pixar fan is like a godsend because he literally writes the name of the clip, writes the YouTube, like, time code, and even the, the funny section. Like, he comes up with, like, uh, quirky little titles that I've ended up using some of them uh, for when the shorts uh, go live. You know, things like um, uh, uh, the, the Kim Possible video that went up today. I didn't come up with that title. Like, he... He, he categorized the short based on, um, like, uh, that section of the conversation when Amber and I said, you know, a door is just a weak wall. And that's how the title of the video happened. So there, there's lots of instances with that. Um, so, I mean, if people want to put together shorts like that, like do the Pixar method, I mean, holy cow. I mean, we'd have shorts until, at this point, I have shorts until, like, 
March of next year. That's insane. You know? Um, and I, I like it. I like I like posting the shorts every day around 7 a.m. I have a huge list to work with. And I have more Batman shorts coming back. Um, the, you know, it's Pixar and, like, one other person. The one other person doesn't really release as, as big a list as Pixar does. Pixar, like, massive list. And then I just copy and paste it and put it in my WordPad thing, and it's like, yes! So then, you know, I, have, I, I whip out, like, a bowl of ice cream or something after Forza or some cereal. And I just go through the list, and then I download the, the clip off my YouTube channel, and boom! Put the thing together, and then I can work on the newsletter. And it's like, yeah! It's awesome! I like it. It makes my life easier! Anything that makes my life easier is good. Because I can doze off rewatching my own videos. I, I can't stand the sound of my own voice. Most YouTubers don't like to listen to themselves back. It's, it's You can't. You're like, oh my gosh, no. What was I thinking? What was I thinking when I did this? Ooh. Hello, XP. How are you? Turn around when it is safe to do so. I have two new Pokemon clips. Oh. Wait, from the new Pokemon that we just did? Somebody has clips for the new po the Pokemon streams we did today. Already. I might actually make if that's true, I might actually make a short of uh, Pokemon tonight. Was it funny? See, I don't, I don't really, did we do anything funny in Pokemon tonight? I thought we were just doing it straight. Like, I did the really exaggerated Goku voice for the, uh, the rival character. I'm the rival in Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> I, I don't really see how that's funny. Um, but I'm kind of curious what people found funny in that live Let's Play, because we were, we were doing it as, as they say, just like, kind of straight. I mean, there wasn't. I, I, off the top of my head, I can't remember any funny sections. Uh, there was no... There might have been a little bit of ad-lib, but I don't think we really ad-libbed that much. The There was a lot of ad-lib in um, Pokemon Sword and Shield because the, the whole premise of the thing was ridiculous. Like, we used to make fun of the guy who had, like, all the sponsors on his cape. Whoa, that was sick! Storm Chasers! That was cool. Hey! Wow! Can I get struck by lightning? Can I get struck by lightning? Can lightning strike near me? Whoa! Cool! That doesn't really sound like real lightning, though. It's supposed to... I, the, the, the thunderclap would be big... Whoa! Thunderclap would be bigger. Okay, we have to make a time code for this. We need a time code! Birds! It's a bird! Storm chasing. Storm. Two hours. Uh, two hours and five minutes. Storm chasing. Storm. Cool. Where, where are the, where's the thunder and lightning happening now? Whoa. Whoa. Neat. Oh, come on, you're not done yet. You just started. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Whoops. Ah, dang it. Psh, whatever game, fine. Take all the fun out of stuff. Wait, where am I? Where? Oh. Well, I'll go to this race then. In the hands of science? I don't know. <sighs> that did not go the way I wanted it to. Can't tell. What is this? Turn around when it is safe to do so. I want to go chase the storm.
Come on, let the storm go right above me. That would be something else. Yeah, whatever. Storm chaser thing was kind of cool. Oh, us complaining about when uh, the Pokemon evolved. Uh, see, I didn't. I didn't even know we were doing something funny. We were generally making fun of a penguin. I guess you guys found it amusing or something like that. All right. See, I. I guess comedy is subjective. I, I don't know. I. I mean, honestly, I didn't really see anything funny in that Pokemon series, but. Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I, I feel like, had a lot of funny elements because we were always ragging on the dude's cape and sponsorships and also, um, the rival of the main character we kind of made stupid, which was funny. We also made this character stupid, like, we made Barry an idiot. Because <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's funny to make your rival an idiot. I guarantee you other YouTubers don't do that. Rock! Yeah, the... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, but, hey, if you guys are able to find funny stuff, cool. More power to you. You know, you guys... Sometimes I think I put together the funniest short in the world, and it gets, like, no views. And then I put together a short, I think that's absolute crap, and it gets 5,000 views. Like, there, there were so many instances where... Um, for one, I honestly thought that our conversation about Superman blasting people with his heat vision was the stupidest thing ever. And I was putting that short together and I was like, nobody's going to watch this. This is, this is the dumbest short ever. And it's like, I'm going to throw a JoJo reference into this because this is so stupid. And then, you know, lo and behold, it got like 5,000 views. I'm like, what the heck? It doesn't make any sense. Um, so, I mean, like I said, comedy, I mean, it all depends. Like, you might think something's really funny, and then the, the masses don't. Like, I remember being in tears when I was put together a short that only got, like, a thousand views. I was like, and then I look back at it, and I'm like, I was literally laughing so hard that I had tears streaming down my face, and I upload it, and it's kind of like, nothing happened. <laughs> you know, I was just like, people watch it, and they're kind of like, well, I guess that was funny. It's like, you guess? How dare you guess that was funny? You cretin! What are you saying? Lies! You know, it, it's just like... Like I said, you know, other people find stuff funny and, you know... Just because I find something funny, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a funny short. 200 yards. Turn right. uh, I should have chose the turtle. Never! Never, Brady! I will never, ever, ever, ever choose the turtle. Unless I can find a turtle to have in my party. Like, if I can have another starter, I will have a turtle. Like, if I can if I can get the tur turtle, and then... Uh, I, I'd be tempted to, to start another save file, and then have, have one of my characters just send over a starter. But I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can get rid of your starter. I would totes do that, though. I'd be like, yeah! I'd do that. I'd be like, cool. Cool. Epic. Alright, where am I going again? Oh yeah, I'm going here. Sorry, I got distracted. First I got distracted by the storm, then I get distracted by collecting XP. It's an ADD thing. Storm Chaser. Two hours and eight minutes until eight. XP collector. Two hours and I don't know. Seventeen minutes. Maybe. Help. Okay, cool. No, I want to go there. Yeah. Turn around. <coughs> I mean, honestly, those of you that watched the uh, Pokemon stream, did you find anything funny about that stream at all? Because I didn't. Recalculating route. In 200 yards, I thought maybe, like, I got a slight chuckle making fun of, uh, what's-his-face? 
Barry. Because we kind of have like a, a running gag with the Barry Allen thing going on. Because, you know, his name is Barry and he's always in a hurry. It's like, my name's Barry Allen and I am the Flash. That type of stuff, you know. Uh, if I was putting together a short and Barry was running away, I would like play the Flash theme or something like that for fun. Dun, 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 because you see Barry running away. That to me would be funny. Other people would probably be like, eh, no. Doesn't work. Uh, one thing I love to do is stuff that we weren't able to do in our, our Let's Plays originally, which is add sound effects. So for the shorts, one of the things that I put in the, uh, the clip so much is the Wilhelm scream. I love it. Like, I, you know, I blow up somebody in a Bond game, uh, which is one of the clips coming up. Uh, I was supposed to release it during the time that Bond was in theaters, but whatever. Um, there's a scene where in one of the things that Bond, like, shoots this guy and a barrel explodes, and in the game, you know, there's just kind of an explosion. So in the short, I add the Wilhelm scream, like, right, right when the barrel explodes and these guys go flying, so you hear the, ah! <laughs> and that to me is funny, because Wilhelm makes everything funny. Uh, or in a racing game where I crash into people, you hear, like, you know, a woman screaming and then an explosion, like, off off screen. <laughs> that to me is hilarious. Remy, I have a vehicle, but no guide. Small change of plans, my friend. Tell me, have you ever seen an active volcano up close? No. Meet me at the top of the mountain. You don't want to miss this. How did I not get a good grade with this one? Whoa! What was that? That's nothing! Just a small tremor! Garry's 200 suspension can handle it, no problem! Uh huh. Why am I doing this one again? My friend, there is a lot of smoke coming out of this volcano. You might want to get up here pronto! Lost. Got it. On my way. Going up there pronto. Hey, Ramiro, the festival operations team are tracking some activity around the volcano. That wouldn't happen to be exactly where you're taking my superstar driver, would it? Está bien, Haley. This is really only a small eruption. Nothing to worry about. Fine. Just remember, we have an outpost to set up, yeah? What does my license plate say? Isn't this incredible? No. The volcano has never been like this before, but it's waking up for Horizon! I mean, I guess... the top we should do our tests and then get out of here my friend the baka is waiting and i think the volcano is getting angrier angelica garcia coming to you live from the horizon excess chopper that's right we have a chopper we're flying high over mexico to see one superstar driver take on the fury of the gran caldera volcano don't go anywhere was she spoofing like some movie? We have a chopper. It looks safe, but there's vapor everywhere. This expedition looks If so, that was the most forced reference I've ever heard. This might be the most rock and roll thing ever. We'll be back soon. Fake enthusiasm. Yay! Opening them, say with a car, actually helps release the geothermal energy. Keep going, superstar! Don't let the Gran Caldera defeat you. Horizon Excess is cheering you on. Uh huh. Coming up on the crater now, Rami. Copy that. Feel free to turn on the air conditioning. Maybe I will, or maybe I won't. You made 
Benedetto. I spoke to Haley and they say we have some time. In fact, there are some things she wants us to do up here. For science, you know? <laughs> For science! What do you want me to do? A barn? What? A barn? Where? XP board. What are the things that I need to be doing here? Uh, I can't read that for the life of me. What does that say? Turn off music. Change outfit. Why would I change my outfit? Suited and booted. Come at me, science. Suited and booted. All right. What next? Ow. can't read that um can you guys uh can you guys even read what does that say um the one underneath find location for That's the car. I mean, I thought you just had to finish the... Drive to the buggy to continue. Well, yeah, but aren't I supposed to do some more stuff over here? Track the earthquakes. Oh, never done this. See, Haley? We've placed the seismometer. You're getting the readings? Buenísimo. We should be heading down soon. Yeah, but I can't read the last one. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to go to the buggy. If I go to the buggy, it's over. There must be one more around here that I don't know about. Side swiping. Ow. Smashed steam vents? What do the steam vents look like? Rock and roll. Oh, no. Whoops. Well, that happened. 
Five steam vents. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Now I know what I'm doing. Whoopsies. Oof! Okay. Two more steam vents. There's one. There's two. Mind. Ow. Probably not how the geologists do it, but hey, science is problem solving. Scientist problems, yeah. Oh, ow, ooh, ooh, ooh. show you an active volcano up close. Now, I think the show's over. <laughs> yep. That's enough playing with fire for one day. Oops. Now I think I have to come in first in order to... <laughs> That was a big one! I think the volcano is telling us we've overstayed our welcome. <laughs> Agreed. Let's go. I'll see you at the boat, Remy. Good thing I know the fastest way down. Oh, that was a big one! I think the volcano is telling us we've overstayed our welcome. Don't look back! I'm trying my best! Nothing's happening. Okay. And we're into the final lap. Oh, but what is this? Some new competitors come into the arena. Ah, this is awesome. Vamos! <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Legendary power racing, my friend. <laughs> oh, we've never seen anything like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's something. I didn't do that last time. Booyah. Horizon Baja. Standing shoulder to shoulder with the Baja 500 and 1000. Legendary cross-country racing. My friend, those run once a year. We get to do this every day. Cool. All right, now that that's taken care of, what's left? What's left to finish for Baja? Hmm. <clears throat> Yay, furball. Good kitty. Yeah. Nope, nope, no bad kitty. Don't don't scratch face. We don't scratch our face. Yeah. 
So how many of you guys have cats or dogs? I'm curious. Uh-oh, I think we jammed up the game. We might have jammed up the game. Come on, Xbox, work with me. Do you know how much I sacrificed? No. Don't do me like this. Don't. Don't. Oh my gosh, no. Come on, not after I won the race. No. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh my gosh, I thought we killed the game. Redeem what? Oh, man. I was nervous for a second there. Incredibly nervous. Turn around when it is safe to do so. XP hog. You have arrived at your destination. Have I now? Cool. Oh, you're fine. One hundred and thirty six of two hundred and fifty. What, I can't go underneath? What? So where's the XP at then? And? It's not on the t oh. Cool. Ow. There we go. See, that's all I'm asking about. If something is actually up high, wouldn't it make sense to have a ramp to get to it? Yeah, right? Totally. Ah, you can replace that sign. Haha. <laughs> Well, that's everything. Except for this. What is it? That doesn't tell me anything. What's wrong? You already ate. You already ate. You ate. Meow. Yeah, how do you like it? That's what I thought. Mind me, I was just talking to my cat. And cat ease. Turn around when it is safe to no, do I don't so. want to turn around. There's XP right here. 
You turn around. What? You have arrived. Oh no! Oh! Whoa! Nailed it. What? What do you want? Yeah. And? Ah, 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 ah. Don't walk on the computer. What is it? Use your words. supposed to get that what you want me to jump off that That's going to be hard. Nope. How in the world am I supposed to get that thing? Seriously. <laughs> well, we got it. We got it. But at what cost? There we go. Yay! Baha, uh, Baha, 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 Baha. How many Bahas left? Uh, I know I lost another race. Where was it? Where was it? Ugh. Am I done now? No. What? Uh, ah, there it is. That's not done. Oh, not this race. No, 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 no. No, I don't like this one. Turn around when it's no! I don't even think I got second on that race. Dang it. Oh, this is gonna suck. Uh, last one, guys, and we're done with the Baja. Baja! Later, Jackson. In 400 yards, turn right. Spam bot is here? Really? Aw, they do care. <laughs> In 200 yards, I thought that got bored. Left. Hey, Hunter, how's it going, man? No. Oh. We, uh, we did Pokemon yesterday. First three episodes of Pokemon are up on the channel. Like, well, I mean live streams. Of it. Well, you know what I mean. They're there. Smash, smash! Oof. Yeehaw! Uh, ah how!
Climb, climb. Did I grow up with Pokemon as a kid? Nope. I was old. When Pokemon came out, I was going into high school. I missed the Pokemon train. When Pokemon came out, when it first debuted, I was in 8th grade. And I was into Final Fantasy RPGs in 8th grade. And Warcraft. And uh, in 400 I don't know, yards, I don't know fighting games. I was still heavily into fighting games and some. Um, turn left. I don't think the name of the game. Some weird N64 games and some PC games. Pokemon looked like. Sorry, I mean yards. I was getting ready for high school, so Pokemon look like a little kid's game um, and I was already you know kind of out of the Mario games and stuff like that at least on the surface I'd never invited people over to play Mario Tennis or anything like that you have arrived invited at people to play Smash Brothers because Smash Brothers was cool um, but I mean you know Pokemon came out a few years before Smash Brothers did but I was I was into PlayStation games and PC and most of the people in my class never talked about Pokemon because they were all playing, like, you know, other stuff. <clears throat> I think Pokemon came out in 98, didn't it, in the States? What year did Pokemon uh, Red and Yellow drop in the U.S.? It came out in 96 in Japan. Did it come out in 98 or 99 in the States? Because if you know the exact year, I can tell you what I was doing. This race again. I hate this race. I do not like it. Two hours forty. Whoopsies. Two hours forty three. L. Bis. Uh. So. Cross country. I butchered that so bad. Does anybody remember when Pokemon Red and Yellow came out on the Game Boy? The Game Boy? What year? Not what year it released in Japan, because Japan always got stuff two years before us. What year did it release in America? Because I can tell you what games I was in to, like, the year Pokemon came out. And why I never touch Pokemon. But I need to know the year. And then I I can uh, tell you exactly what I was playing. 99? If it came out in 1999, then I was playing Smash Brothers. I was still playing Goldeneye. Uh, I was playing Time Splitters, I think. Um, Final Fantasy... 9, I think? On PlayStation, uh, I was playing a lot of PC games in '99, and I was getting ready to enter high school. I was finishing up my junior, or not my junior. I was finishing up my last year in eighth grade. Uh, and then I was going into high school. <clears throat> oh man, I was winning for like a brief second. This Ford Bronco rocks. 
for these type of races. Oh my gosh. Just use the Ford Bronco. Update that thing and then win. Wow. Whatever you do, don't let the game change your difficulty, though. Just keep going. Win all the races. Then increase the difficulty after you've qualified or won first place. And you can challenge yourself and have the game smoke you. But I wouldn't do it unless you have a wheel. If you're trying to actually, you know, 100% this game. Because the computer will beat you. That is a fact, Jack. Yes! Oh, 1998? If it was 1998, Ocarina of Time. If it was 1998, then I was playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Religiously. And I was still playing Goldeneye. With my friends. Mario Kart 64. That's my entire cross-country program. <laughs> what am I supposed to tell the other racers? <laughs> tell them they can have a rematch any time, Alex. I did it. I think we finished cross country. Hmm. Games of 1999. I'm just curious. What does Google say? This will be a, a stroll down memory lane for me. Oh my gosh. Donkey Kong 64, Age of Empires 2, Final Fantasy 8, um, Soul Reaver, um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Resident Evil 3. Driver, um, I was playing Tomb Raider, or Tomb Raider, the last, um, what was that one? Uh, the, the, the last revelation, Raymond 2, Mario Golf, um, I was playing Ocarina, of, oh, that's 99, uh, Beetle Adventure Racing, Chrono Cross, uh, Need for Speed, High, High Speed Pursuit? No, Need for Speed High Stakes was 99. Um, Baldur's Gate. Just playing a lot of Baldur's Gate. Okay. Uh, Street Fighter 2, Third Strike, no. Harvest Moon 64, was big in that. And then in 98, games I was playing in 98, Ocarina of Time, Resident Evil 2, Thief. Um, Xeno Gears, Rogue Squadron, Tenchu, um, F Zero X, uh, Sonic Adventure. Uh, let's see, what else was I doing? Oh, Sui Coden 2 came out that year? Oh, forget about it. Yeah. There was no way I was playing Pokemon. Sui Coden 2 was amazing. That was 1998. Brave Fencer Musashi. Um, the first medieval game was 98. Yeah, I was busy. I was a heck, I, I was wicked busy back then. And I was still playing 97's, uh, GoldenEye and Star Fox. Um, so I didn't have time to play Pokemon. It didn't interest me because it had, had these cute cartoon characters on the thumbnail. I was playing things like 1080 and Rogue Squadron, you know, Xenogears, stuff like that. Half-Life, Metal Gear. So, I mean, you know, just <clears throat> for a guy going into high school, Pokemon did not look like something you wanted to tell your friends about. And I saw it on TV and the way they were marketing it, it was just kind of like, yeah, it, it made me feel bad when I first saw it because I was like, oh, they're saying that it's a it's a kid's game. And I was always with the argument with the Super Nintendo, the Super Nintendo wasn't a kid's system. So when I saw Nintendo just kind of like embrace the kidness and... Release Pokemon, I just kind of gave up defending it in school. It's just kind of like, yeah, it's a system for babies. You have to remember, I was going into high school and I was trying to look cool. And most people, if you were a video game player in the 90s, the late 90s, you were playing PlayStation or you were playing PC. 
um, or Dreamcast. You were not. You were not talking about Pokemon. Sorry. Um, as I got older, I, I got to see the appeal of Pokemon, but I still never. I didn't play it until I became a YouTuber. My wife played Pokemon before. But if I never had a YouTube channel, I probably never would have looked at Pokemon. Which is kind of sad if you think about it, because Pokemon has a lot of charm, it's fun. You know. Um, it's a great RPG series. And I would have missed out on that, so I'm kind of glad that I did become a YouTuber, because I never would have played Pokemon. I would always thought it was a kitty game. That's the truth. Um, I would have, if I would have brought Pokemon to school on my Game Boy in eighth grade, I probably would have got stuffed in a lot. Most likely. Heavily likely. Yeah. Because that kind of stuff happened back then. <clears throat> It wasn't even cool to be a gamer at all back then. Not really. Some schools were lucky enough to have, like, a game club. Like, you had a video game club, but most of the people in that club, it was PlayStation fans or people that really liked Madden or shooters, FPS games, things like Turok, things like that, Doom. And all you would do in computer club or whatever is you'd play computer games. Like, you know. Which is fine. You know. Nothing wrong with that. Ow. And then in college, we had LAN parties. Playing things like Quake. Half-Life. It's probably Half-Life 2 we were playing in college. I don't remember. Warcraft 3. Um, Starcraft 1. That's a term you probably don't hear much anymore. Land parties. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fossil. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, kids today. They have it so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, it's drone time. Let's see. I'm actually curious to see what the first uh, Pokemon game I actually played. I can tell you the first Pokemon game Amber played. Amber played Black Black and White was her first Pokemon game. And then she played every Pokemon game after that. Um, when she was a kid... Uh, people... When she was a kid, she was in 7th grade when I was in 8th grade. She was in either 6th or 7th grade. I think she was almost two grades behind me. Or a grade and a half. I don't, I don't remember. <clears throat> but. She liked. Um, she thought Pikachu was cute. And she had a very nice. She had a um, very nice Game Boy. She showed me like when we were dating. It was cute. It was like this um, kind of pink Game Boy. And in her Game Boy, she had... It was either Pokemon Red and Yellow, or it was another Game Boy uh, Game Boy Pokemon game. But I, I don't remember which one. And then when she got a DS, when I bought her a DS with Nintendogs, she got... Um, I don't remember. It was either she bought Pokemon Diamond or Pearl and never played it, um, or she got another Pokemon game later on her DS. I, I can't tell you which one. I don't remember. My first Pokemon game that I did a series on, uh, I'd have to cheat. I don't know. I can't remember. I, I think it was a DS game. It was the first Pokemon game that we covered on this channel. Would have been seven years ago now, probably. Maybe six years ago? I don't remember. And, you know, I literally could, ta uh, like, tag my videos, never played Pokemon. Because it was true. And then I had people come, like, uh, some of the people that came into the channel when I was doing that, I mean, they were pretty nasty to me. 
Because I was playing Pokemon wrong because I never played it. And I was like a guy in my 30s playing Pokemon for the first time. It was pretty hilarious. I don't think I've gotten any better playing Pokemon, but... I do play Pokemon now. I've, I've played every Pokemon game that is released afterwards. That's, you know, part of the Pokemon series. I haven't really done a lot with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or anything, but... I've looked at pretty much all the Pokemon games after that. More or less. Where is this barn at, man? That's not a barn. That's a rock. So I had to complete all those races and get first place in order to get another hidden barn thing? That's kind of lame. Oh, there's a boat out on the ocean. That's neat. Yo, barn, where you at? Whoa. Barn, barn, there's no barn. That's my Jeep. Or Ford Bronco. Where's where's my uh where's the barn at? There's nothing here for miles and miles. Oh. Sneaky barn. Sneaky barn. Whatever. Guess we found that. Alright, so this is the last thing I'm doing. Um, call the other stuff 90s talk, I guess. I don't know, 250, 254. Why I didn't play Pokemon. Mm -mm. That barn was actually pretty close. Smack. Why, get a load of that! Looks like an old Baja truck. Oh, this thing's won more off-road races than you or I have had hot dinners. Cool. All right, we found another car. Needs new tires, probably new suspension. I'll, I'll call you when it's ready. Yeah, you will call me when it's ready. Hey, level 59. Look at that, guys and gals. We'll spin. Spin! Spin, spin, spin. Oh! I mean, black biker jacket is cool, though. What? Hey, why did you cut my wheel spinning, yo? Do that. Wheel spin. Go. Meh. Oh, come on! Seriously? What? All right, so we collected some more cars. Yay. I think we did good. All right, so Baja is done. Um, we're going to do movie stuff tomorrow. This car is available from the... No, oh, go away. No. Okay. So anyway, people, that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for watching uh, Forza tonight. It was about a three-hour stream close to it. And I hope everybody had fun. And uh, that's it. That's all. I will see you guys for the Lego Marvel stream around 4.30, 5 o'clock. Followed by Pokemon at 7 and then Pokemon at 10. 
And then I'll do another Forza stream, probably. Tomorrow I'm going to do the movie star stuff, the stunt racing. So Baja is done. I don't know if Baja is done 100%, but Baja is finished. So, sweet. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, YouTube short will be up by 6.40, 7 a.m. And uh, you have a Power Rangers vs. video at noon, which I will not be here to promote. So, hope you guys have a great morning, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless Snappy Gaming. See ya.